What's up, everybody? It's Nick here. Just got the package, and I'm uh. Just... This is it, baby. Um, yeah, I gotta go back to the mail center again because I gotta bring this back. This is closed at like 4:40, so I gotta run over there. This is like a last minute thing. I just found out I was getting it now, so. I will be right back. Um, those of you just joining in, yo, moderators, tell them I will be back in like 10 minutes. No, five. Tell them I'll be back in like five minutes.
What's up, chat? <laughs> How's everybody doing? I'm back. Finally. Oh. Let me just pull up a chair. Let me just pull up a chair. And I'll talk with you guys. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? You doing good? Because I'm doing pretty good. I got this new chair I'm unboxing today. This is going to be fun. Um, I got this for my birthday which is on the 24th and whatnot, so yeah, it came a bit early, so figured let's just set it up live. I got uh, got all the tools and prying tools necessary for unboxing it. Also, I need my dacto knife and perhaps a bit of tape in case something gets screwed up here, which I highly does since I'm good at taking apart things. But hi, hello, hey casually vanilla, what's good? Um, Ooh, it's hot in here. I think I'd open a few windows actually. Sometimes I will. Oh. I can still take that one out. I don't need to take that out. Put it on the screen a little bit, you know. Alright, so. Okay. Alright, it doesn't fit under the one. Wait, what do I need my tools? Oh, I can do my I thought I had more seltzers, but apparently I don't. Okay. Um. So, let's get started. Here. Oh Jesus, don't cut out on me today. So, all right, let's see here. That's a good view right there. That's a good view. If you can't, if you don't, if you think that's not a good view, just let me know in the chat. I'm right here. I got everything set up, so we're all good, you know? What's up, Casually Vanilla? I see you. Hi. That is crooked as fuck. Okay, there we go. Alright. What's up? What's up, chat? I'm a... I acknowledge you. Is the Mac... Uh, this Mac Pro here, is it a Windows PC? Currently, there's nothing in here. There is... Actually... Quite literally, nothing in here. Besides the solid-state drive I have for it for the Windows once I get... Once I start ordering the parts, but... As of right now, it is just a whole box of nothing. Also, by the way, if you guys want to drop donations to help me get this thing built, then there is a link in the description of this live stream to go donate there. I want to start building this thing so I can start rendering shit on it and doing other cool stuff. So yeah, help me get there. Uh, so yeah, let's get started with the main attraction here. Ah. Like an up arrow on this thing, I can't really tell. Also, how's my audio, you guys? Is it good? What way is up? I cannot tell. Looks like this way might be up. Yep. Yeah. All right. Also, when you're unboxing shit, never play with. Ow. Yeah, I'm making myself with the exact knife. Don't do what I did. Don't be stupid like me and play with exacto knives. I've cut my thumb once, never again. Ah, uh, what do we got here? Hey, what's up, Red Rails? How you doing? Uh, it's pretty cool. Let me see. I'm just gonna share this with a few people. Let's 
Oh shit, I forgot to let all the people on Discord know. Oh shit, I'm sorry, fellas, on Discord. Jeez, no, not on Discord. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna let everyone know on, on the uh on the Discord right now. Alright. We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Uh, bring me back to Streamlabs. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ, this is heavy. I'm gonna put on my overhead lights because it's starting to get dark out, actually. Surprisingly. Okay. So. This is the headrest or something like that. I don't know. No, this is the piece of the headrest. It is supposedly the base. Pretty cool. We got some set of tools right here, uh, parts, and whatnot. Um, ah, then we got the complimentary footrest. And, and my God, this, what this thing adjusts? Oh my God! Holy shit, dude! This is gonna be sick. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome! All right, and it looks like we have assembly instructions for setting up your. Uh, I'm gonna call that Ohio gaming chair because it, it makes sense to me. And here we are. You guys are gonna love the color I chose. I guarantee you. I got this bright orange gaming chair. How cool is that shit? Like, isn't that cool? Ah, oh my god. Ah. Alright, about, yes, about the Minecraft project. I'm, uh, I'm uncertain on where I am with that, but that's the least of my concerns as of right now. My concerns right now are setting up this gaming chair and working on a big-ass project for all of y'alls. Entertainment. Because, uh, I, I, I think that this year is going to be a good year if I really work hard at it. And here is, and here is the base. So, oh wow, you really actually do have to set one of these up. I thought it was just a simple, like, I don't know, a duplo Lego set where you just put five pieces together. But holy shit, this is, com this is complex, man. Jesus. We'll set you there. I didn't put a hole in the wall. Ah, eh, whatever. Okay, um, take a look here. Alright, so, uh, right, so I do it in the back. I got the seat. Uh, what about the mechanisms? Take a look at what's in these boxes here. You guys need a better view? Um, because I can get you a better view. Oh, wait, I know. <laughs> Sorry if this is disorienting for some of you. Uh, not, not a I'm not a professional here. Okay. Yep, this is the... This is the mechanism for the bottom, so... Where did I put my... Exacto knife? That's where I put it. But yeah, I, uh, I saw this on Amazon, and I was like, huh. Oh, this has the wheels in it, too. Sweet. Nice, bright orange wheels. The mechanism for the bottom. Never really understood what this thing on the bottom was. Maybe the counterbalance spring? I don't really know. I don't really care. Because, um... Yeah, we got the extensions. I don't know. Oh shit. Oh boy. Alright, uh, okay. 
This looks like uh, this looks like the film that goes on the bottom. Oh, it is. That's cool. Oh, this is just like a piston. Oh, that's cool. All right, we'll just set you down there. Oh. Yeah, sorry I haven't been, um... Um, I mean, I already do have a somewhat... Well, not really an active gaming channel. I have... Uh, it's a cumulo. Let's just put my mic right here in my... In my drawer, because I have nowhere else to place it. Alright, but... Yeah, how's, how's my voice now? Is that good? Alright, um... Yeah, we're, uh... I don't remember what I was saying before, but, um... Yeah, sorry I haven't been, uh... I'm sorry I haven't been active recently. I've been working on something important for, like, class and stuff. And it's it's a video project for my cinematography class. And, um, I'm working really hard at it. And it's just... I'm sorry if I haven't been active lately. It's just, um... I really want to do good and stuff, and ooh, smells new. I like it. So yeah, that's why I haven't been um active recently. But once I turn that in, which will be somewhere around the twenty fourth, I should be back regularly on schedule. So yeah, sorry for the, for the little heads up. I should have given you a little heads up there, but obviously I forgot to. Yeet. Almost there. I'm going to turn off noise cancellation on this because uh, I want you guys to hear everything. Yeah, filters. Turn that shit off. Alright. Okay, yeah, that's way better. I can see the audio levels now. The other stuff that was waste your time. What? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean. Yeah. Oh, that's where stuff. Whoa. What the? This looks like a fucking bionic joint. Holy shit. Wait, is this a thing for the back? Whoa. Uh. Cool. I think this, I think this part might be for the back. Oh yeah, it is. It's for the back then. All right, so let's get all this shit out of the way here, and we can get started by looking at this here. So, uh, warning: please keep the product out of reach of children. It is not a toy. Well, no duh. Install the gas lift and insert the gas cover. Okay. Um, All right then. I guess we're. Uh, guess we're just. I guess we're gonna work on the base first. Then. What the hell is this in here? What's this? I don't care. Okay, we'll put we'll put some of this shit over to the side right here, and we can get started. So, is this like really that supposed to be designed like this, where you just kind of like. Uh, Shit, it's stuck on my carpet. Ah! Ah! You kind of just like... I don't, I don't know, this doesn't... It seems somewhat not sturdy with the uh, legs being able to do that, but... I'm not complaining. Just saying that, like... I wonder, if, I wonder if they were aware of that when they put that in the design. Looks like the Steam logo. What does this? The, uh. Or this, because I gotta say, this does look like the Steam logo now that you say that. Ah! Oh, wait. That, that'd be pretty good, but I wouldn't have to do that again. Uh -huh. I just thought of something, and it sucks because I can't tell you, because that would, uh. I, forget I ever said that. What was it? Uh. That's all of them, I guess. Alright, uh... Let's say what's next. Okay, so it's like... 
Okay. Okay, let's see. Alright, seems just like that. And then, does this just like sit in there and that's. Is that it? Or does it like. Does it like stay on there or something? Because I. I don't know if I. I don't know if I trust that. Does it like stay. Is it like stuck in there somehow? Or is it just, does it just like. Sit there and that's it? Because uh, that'd be pretty precarious if that was a thing. Uh, I really, I really don't want to fuck this up. All right. Insert the casters into the bottom of the base. All right. Well, this shows an arrow pointing down for for this for the for this pump thing, but. I, I, I don't know. Um, well, if it falls apart, then we obviously did it wrong. So, let's continue on. Alright, so, that's that. That's this one. And then that one. So, I think I just go like... like oh boy, that, that moved up. <laughs> Am I able to, like take this out at all, because, like, uh, oh, that's cool, once you press the button, it, like, compresses itself in there, I think, I don't really know, I'm not a rocket scientist, now, here are my six gaming wheels, and, uh, anyone in chat want to take a guess why I chose the orange color? Go on, go on, someone just give it a wild guess, you know? Casually vanilla? You guessed right. Seriously, I bought this because I was like, oh, I love I've like I've fallen in love with the color. Uh <laughs> Yomar, yes, that is correct. <laughs> now you can see I bought a physical item out of, because of of this. I don't know. Uh, go on there, stay. I'm gonna like uh, force this into the ground to see if like the wheels lock in or something. Cause uh, I haven't heard any like clicking noise when I get in. Here. Or do you like? Oh wait a minute, what? Is this like? Is this like? Lockable or something? Hmm. I don't know. There we go. Oh, bro, my life sucks right now. I'm out of seltzers. And I don't really want any, I don't really want water. I want something else. Like, uh, seltzer's better than water because it's not water. It's, it's water that's flavored. That, that rides smooth. Look at that. I think that's part one done. Oh, Jesus, I never keep this open on the carpet, you idiot. Okay. All right, next I gotta do the armrests. So. And take a look at this. Just scoot you that way. So it says here I gotta take a T, which is leaves right there. So yeah, let's do that. Also, uh. I, uh, also I'm thinking of, uh, I'm thinking of postponing the read, the reproduction of the, uh, of the, um, orange line video, and I'm just gonna do one on the other lines, 
And well, do you guys have any suggestions of what line I should do? Cause um, I'm open to all ears. Cause I don't really care. I don't really care which line I do. I want your guys' input. So, if you guys want to tell me in the chat what you want, I will. I will certainly do that. Which way does it go? Does it the long way is uh? Long way is this way. Yeah, that works. Where is my tool area? The silver line though, it's bus, and I don't really give much respect for buses because I hate traffic. And uh, buses to me are traffic, even if the silver line is supposedly has its own dedicated bus lane that people must clear out of the way when it's coming down, coming down the road. I still don't care, it's a bus in my opinion, and all buses are the same shit. <sighs> CTA or MBT? I don't like doing a lot of, I don't like you doing a lot of work. Probably you should do the blue line. I mean. I haven't done a major pr I haven't done a major video like the orange line in fucking a year. So it's been it's it's literally been like a year since I published that video. I published it March 28th of 2020 and it's coming up on a 1 year anniversary of that video. So, I'm ready for a big project. Light rail. Okay, well actually, um Thing is about the uh, if you're referring to the green line, that that I want to do when I'm home because uh, even if I am, if I'm, even if I'm home during the pandemic, I can easily get footage for that, and plus like plus like I'll have the motivation to do it since I'm around the green line a lot. So so yeah, I'm not gonna be doing the green line while I'm here at least, and uh, yeah. Sorry, some on Snapchat. Now my watch decides to send me the ping that I'm that I'm now live. <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> well, um, I could do. I'm thinking of uh, I'm thinking of sticking sticking to the MBTA until I cover all the lines in the video style that that all of you like, and then I'll start branching out to other things. But um. Yeah, and whatnot, so... Just suggest to me an MBTA line that I should do, because, uh, I want to I wanna keep it simple. Not, like, intense. Nothing like New York trains, because that's, like, that's a whole mess in itself. Red lines are real long. If uh, people are saying red line, I'll do the red line. Yeah, alright. Um. Seat time. Oh boy. This is how to do a magic trick, people. How to grab your own keys out of your own pocket with no hands. God, my hair is a fucking mess. MBTA Fairmount line commuter rail. I'm I'm thinking of doing something on the commuter rail too, but I'm actually thinking of um doing like doing like a lot of the commuter rail's history, including like um the Boston and Maine stuff and stuff like that. Because I covered that a little bit in the urban exploration of the Bud RDC cars. If y'all haven't seen that already, go to my YouTube channel and or just search up um, abandoned Bud RDC cars in Somerville, and my video will probably show up. I talk a little bit about the history of Boston and Maine, but I, I was thinking of expanding upon that since it seems pretty cool. Alright, uh, I got these things here. Also, the other chair that I had in here the other day has shed like an absolute madman. It's, there's like, there's like little broken pieces of leather all over my goddamn floor. It's, it's like, bad. Right, let me just 
Let me just sit on this a little for a second. Oh my god, that's so cozy. Oh my god. I'm already gonna like this. Alright, yeah. Alright, what do you got for a real long line, huh, Jillmore? Go ahead. Give me it. I wanna hear it. Alright. Uh, so it's S squares. So S. S is times A. Okay. Looks like a booster seat. You're right, actually, it does. It reminds me of a, of the booster seat that um, my grandma would have whenever I'd go into her car. It was great. Then the, uh, you want a real long line? Then the Providence and Salt line on the commuter rail. Yeah, what, but what would be even longer than that is the history of the entire commuter rail. That would be like, I probably want to. I probably want to like team up with someone to do something like that. That'd be that'd be nuts. I mean. It's crazy if I think about it. Alright, we'll just put you out over there. Hey, my head on the thing. Uh, Alright, so how does this go? So it looks like that. Hmm. So it looks like that this is like a... Uh, this is the thing for the for the handle to go back, so like it's like I just put it in like this. Oh boy. Alright. You should do a Marshall type video where you do the whole commuter rail. Hmm. From Boston to I think to Mont Montreal. Oh my god. And that's how far the commuter rail goes? Shit, I didn't know the commuter rail went all the way up to fucking Montreal. Uh, that's good to know. I already got grease on me. Or some other shit, I don't know. Yeah, that's grease. Those are real screw holes, so that's good. I've been watching a lot of Trailer Park Boys recently. It's a good show. Well, actually, as a matter of fact, um... I'm gonna go in. That's what she said! I do. I had to. S screws right there. All right. Okay. Okay, that's be right then. Then why isn't the screw going in the hole? So come on, give me a break here. Right, we'll try doing this without this big contraption to it, so we can see if it will even fit. Okay. It literally looks like they just stabbed a knife through to where the hole is supposed to be for these screws. It doesn't look like it was like processed or anything, but what do I know? For, uh, for who knows? This could have been made in like a sweatshop or something. Probably is now that I think about it. My seat's Montreal. Oh my god. That's nuts. Just start going in a hole. Come on, just Ah! I hate screw I hate screws like this. Like you just don't know where the where the money is. Come on now. Just take this. There's no good way to hold this though, you know what I mean? Is that the hole in there? Okay. No, 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 no. No, we're gonna go. Okay, so it's like straight down. Come on. 
Come on, stupid shit. Go in the fucking hole. The fuck? Did they like did they like get the dimensions wrong as to where the screw goes in? Because what the fuck in the hell? Oh, alright, it's up there. God, these holes are just deceiving me left and right. They make me they make it seem like it goes straight down, but apparently it's in a hole a little bit up. It's fucking weird. It wasn't going in the hole that whole time. Jesus Christ, screw you. Literally. Ah. actual hole or not. Like, my god. I don't want to strip this, but it's like it's not fucking going in. What we're gonna do, we're gonna try a different screw and see if that changes anything. Get out. God. You're the worst screw ever. Jesus. Yeah, I never had anything like this when I'm unboxing something. I never really had to construct anything like this in a while. Ow! Jesus, this is so cumbersome. Like, whoever thought of someone putting it together like this is, like, the worst. This is, this is the worst. Okay, it's actually working this time. Finally. Also, for those of you who are, um, yeah, sure, give me a really long line. Go ahead. Okay, that's tight. Almost there. Ah, oh, God, it hurt my hand so badly. Jesus. At least now we have something that we can lean it up against. Something. Ow. My oh, God, that was that was actual torture. I did not like that at all. Is it, is it, yeah, it goes on the outside like that, so then this is right. So, uh... Alright. The Trans-Siberian Railroad from Moscow, Western Russia to... Oh my god, wow. That is... That is far. Now, I don't think I told you, I don't think I ever told you guys this, but I was adopted from Russia, so I know how far that shit is. That's real far. My god, the, like, all the way from Moscow to the, to the fucking Pacific side? Wow, that is like serious, serious distance, if you know what I mean. should build it then in what? Minecraft? That'd be nuts. If I tried to do that in Minecraft, that'd be like agonizing if it was just on my own. Oh my god, that's like super wow. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay. 
Eh, we'll figure it out when we get the back on. Anyway, continuing on, what do we do next? Oh, let me add the brackets on the side. That's what that is. Interesting. Wait a minute, does this, uh... Does this go on somewhere where I've got to fucking put it on? I really hope that I did it... Uh, oh, wait, yeah, that's this side. Okay, yeah, now that's that side, and this is this side, because it's bigger. Alright, for a second I thought... For a second I thought there was something that goes on the inside of it, and I would have been like, Fuck, I have to take that all apart. But apparently not, so, yay. Uh... This is Q-size screws, so... Uh... Extras... Uh... Q. Yoink! Okay, that is on tight, and I think there's like some caps that goes on here. I guess there is, and that hole is coming, so then just put one there, flip that over, screw this on, just like that, and then cover it up. Pretty simple so far, actually. How about the Northwest Corridor, Northeast Corridor um, Amtrak Boston to Washington, D.C.? Um, sure I could do that. I mean, I'm a... Yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably hold that in for the future or something like that. I don't know really what I should do. Yeah, I'm a... I'm doing good so far. that. Cover that up. Alright, that can, concludes part three. And, uh, next I put on the actual seat back. Nice. Let's see here. The back of this reminds me of the back of this reminds me of like the back of a Recaro seat from like from like a Shelby Mustang. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't it just give you that reminder of like that kind of car? Like, just like the way it's shaped. You know, it just reminds me of that so so vividly, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know the correct word to describe my feelings or describe anything in, as that matter. Okay. Let's put you in here like that. Okay. And we're doing this. second screw for each and then I start tightening for those of you huh that is the same gaming chair that my brother has but it's white that's cool and hello yeah because it has um has little clippy things on it to like to like uh, like lock it in so like when you put it really close it sounds like a sounds like a taser you know it's really cool, but uh, not quite the best option. If you if you try to find like an exacto knife like that, don't get one if you're gonna use it for serious stuff because uh, I've had I've had to push down hard on that thing and it will actually start clicking in um, if enough pressure is applied, which is a, which is one downside to it. 
Uh, no, it's a good exacto knife. It's made so that you can break off a piece of the piece of the blade in case you need a fresh new one. I'm really excited for this chair, everybody. I'm gonna love it. All right. Set you on your side here, and I see that goes in just like this. This thing's got a built-in footrest here, everyone. This is this is a cool gaming chair. So yeah, when I when I get back home, if I'm uh, if I am vaccinated at that point, expect a lot more rail fanning videos from me. Since well, I do miss doing that a lot, and I mean a lot. I miss rail fanning so much. It's so sad that I haven't been able to do much during 2020. Since well, it's one less year on the 1200s. Yeah, sad, but. Very true, indeed. So, like, where's this go? This is just like clip in there or something. Oh, that's cool. I just put that in there. Oh, that's sweet, actually. Very, very nice. Like I said, this, this chair looks rather nice. I think it's nicely designed, you know. Reminds me of like a Koenigsegg one, one seat for some reason. Ah! That was good in there. Yes, it does go in there. So then why wouldn't it go in there? Okay, so that screw does fit that hole. It's uh really weird to line up, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Now it's in. Or not. Yep, yep, it's in. Nice. Cover that one up, and then flip it over and do the same thing. Do the same thing we did last time and just screw it into the hole first and then press it down. Because like, because like, you know, it wasn't going in all the time. So yeah, do you guys want me to talk about anything right now? Like uh, anything on your minds? Do you want to know anything about me? What's going on? Because um, I'll talk. I'll talk. It's not like I need to be solely concentrated on this. So it's also here so I can get a little bit of, a little bit of love from y'all. Since well, it's been a while, you know. Okay, that's not done yet. No, it's done. Boink. Right. Okay. Now that I did that, now I need to do the undercarriage, which will be interesting. Can I first just, like, see how this shit works? Like, do I just, like... Oh, that's cool. Oh, fuck yeah, baby. Woo! Don't want to break that. <laughs> Honestly, I could just use it like this. I like it. They definitely designed comfort at the at the front at the as, as the main purpose here cuz that is I haven't even put it all the way together and it's fucking comfy.
Yeah, exactly. I'm, uh, I don't think I've, um, I don't think I told you this, guys, but I emailed the MBTA t asking if I can get into the head, into contact with the head of, um, Wellington Train Yard. I want to ask him a few questions, and I want to talk to him about some stuff that I think is important. Um, none of those things will be discussed, because I'm going to be making a video about it. And it's going to be, it's going to be interesting when, if it ever does happen. If they do get back to me and give me contact, the guy at Wellington facility, expect a video from me, because, um, I have a, I have an idea, but I'm not going to tell you all what it is yet, because it's pretty, it's pretty out there, if you know what I mean. Alright, where's the bottom? Here we are. Okay, how do we do this? So, how do we do the bottom portion? So it looks like that. All right. So it looks like that we have to put the. But what is the back side of the chair? So it looks like the back side of the chair is. Yeah, that's about right. No wait, no, it's like this. I can't tell. Is it it's like the thing going in the front or the back? Because I can't, I can't tell which is the front on this diagram here. Still the mechanisms on this. Okay. Well, it looks like this is the bit. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the right way. All right. Sorry, everybody. I'll just adjust the view for all of you. No, the blue line, the blue line, the blue line does not have the twelve hundreds. The blue line is a completely different, different naming. It's a completely different number. It's six hundred. The blue line six hundreds have the have the identical design to that of the twelve hundreds, just only two doors and the color of blue. Yeah, the blue lines were retired in two thousand nine, brought to the Seashore Trolley Museum, and are currently in a pretty good state. The twelve hundreds on the orange line are are going to have that same fate, unless we try to do something. I mean, they're they're gonna get they're gonna get retired either way because the MBTA has already wasted their goddamn money on these new trains. But I think I think I might be able to do something about it. If I if I do if I do get into contact with these people, then I think I might have a good chance of possibly getting them to keep at least one of them on the line. I don't know yet. My chances are low, but whatever. Let's see where is Thunder V? V. Okay. Uh, oh, there's an R. Okay, I see. Okay, let's see here. But yeah, I'm a. Uh... Hey, Omar, what's going on? All right, you know what? I'm just gonna cut the bullshit with you guys. You know what I've thought of? I thought of. I thought of making a tiny house. But I've thought of buying a married couple of the 1200s and making it into a fucking tiny house. Like, you know how, you know how fucking cool that would be? Like, seriously, I'm like actually thinking of, the reason why I'm calling the head of Wellington Department is so I can talk to him about the technical specifications for the video. But I mostly want to see if I can actually fucking buy one of these from the MBTA. Because like, I'm actually seriously thinking of making these train cars a fucking tiny house. Cause it's so cool, and plus, like, someone else made a made a tiny house out of the Blue Line prototype cars. Like, I want to be able to save my own pair of twelve hundreds and do my own own cool shit with them. I was thinking of making one of the cars. Like, this would be a married couple, so two cars in total. And um, I would, I would, you know, I would keep, I would, I would keep the original cars paint. Well, I would actually just repaint it and um. Yeah, so uh, you could, I would keep the, I would repaint it, I would fix all the corrosion and, and like, rotting away and shit and all that stuff. I'd fix all that up, I'd patch up all, I'd patch all the leaks, reinstall a new HVAC system. I'd basically, I'd basically retrofit that thing with a brand new, I, well, I'd basically do the overhaul that the MBTA would have done to them. 
I would include, I would even include a brand new interior. I would probably keep the same wood paneling and everything, but I would completely refurbish it and then start doing my own modifications to it. In which, you're, I'm not talking about like the blue line one where there's like an actual tiny house attached to it. I'm thinking about having the actual raw train cars as a tiny house. So I was thinking of like having my actual house, my, my property, with like a yard, a yard of like grass and everything with like a path up to the house, but the house would be, would be the platform and that would be like the, that would be the quote unquote porch, which would be like an industrial fence with like, with like the address on like my orange, it would be like, it'd be like um, residential home and on the orange part where like it would usually say orange line. On the white portion, it would say like the number or street or wherever I'm living, and that's what would be that. And well, to top that off, I would then, I would then have, I would then have the actual trains sitting on a pair of rails that would be tapered off at each side so it wouldn't roll away. I would keep the original traction motor design, but I'd um, I'd obviously deactivate it and like remove all the value valuable components as for reasons. But I would keep the I would keep the original like electrical system. I'd probably do it through a different way than through the third rail. But I'd keep the same air compression system for that. I'd keep the same air compression system for the doors. I'd keep everything the same, except for disabling the traction motor. And well, um, when I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking of so that's what I would do for the exterior. For the interior, I would make one car my bedroom and my office space. And then the second car would be like a kitchen, a dining room, and maybe like a living space, you know what I mean? But what I would do is that I would um I would strip out I would strip out let's 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 uh let's first start off with like the kitchen and dining room area. So for the kitchen portion I'd mostly strip out some of the interior. This would probably be at the at the front end of the car where um where like the first operator's cab is. I'd probably remove the door to the operator's cab, possibly, maybe because of how small the, how it would be, but I would remove the interior seats, remove the interior other stuff, and I'd put like a fixed kitchen kitchen town counter there, leave the windows, leave the wood paneling and everything like that. I'd probably put like, I'd probably put like a mini fridge, a sink, something like that, custom fit to fit inside of it. Where did I put the instruction book? Here it is. I do everything custom like that and uh, whatnot. So what's P? What's P then? Oh, I see. That's what it is. Um. So yeah, I would um, I would have like the kitchen there, and then for the for the kit for the actual kitchen table, I would make it so it would be like flippable or something. But what I would do is that I would keep the original seating, like I would keep the original seats from the train, but I would um. But I would remove the felt that they have and replace it with the original 1980s um, black leather that they had, since that's obviously way more comfortable than matted down carpet that's been in there since 2006. And well, well actually no, they put the they put the carpet seats in like 20, 2009, 2010-ish. I don't remember, but um, yeah, they did that. And then what what did they use for the screws on this? So. Yeah, but what screws did they use for this? I, uh... Uh, did they just use the same screws as this, I'm assuming? But yeah, I would do that for... Oh, oh interesting. Um, yeah, that's what I would do for the, um... That's what I would do for the kitchen portion, for the dining, for the dining room. I would just keep, like, uh... I would keep the original seats. I'd have like a I'd have like a custom built table to to match like the exterior paint or something like that, or like an MBTA map, uh, an MBTA uh, map and stuff for like the for like the actual top of the table, like a tabletop. And then I'd have uh, that's not going in right. That's that's the bad one. Ah, come on. Shit. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna just... Okay, there we go. That's better.
better, a lot more manageable. Um, so yeah, well, well, which one was I talking about? I was talking about, right, the dining room, so yeah. I would just remove those carpet seats because they're just like, they're, like you said in the chat, uh, Septa Kid. Uh, they're like 10 or, they're like 12 or 11 years old. They're, they're fucking disgusting, like, you, you all are going to be like, why the hell did you do this? I once took a whiff off of what was on, uh, off of one of the carpet seats, and I'm, I can't even describe what I smelled. It was, it was horrific. It was awful. It, it reeked. They reeked so badly. So yeah, I'm gonna remove those original carpet seatings and replace it with a nice, the black leather. And yeah, I'd also actually completely replace all the windows to be, to be shatter resistant, and just put in new glass that's not all scratched and vandalized and like full of, eleven years worth of like gunk, filth, and other shit. You you know what I mean, right? So that's what I would do for that. And then um, for the very end of the train, I would probably have like. I'd probably have some more of the original seats, maybe I would have a custom one that's like supposedly supposed to be like a couch. And I'd have like a TV or like a main spot where I'd have like a big iMac or something like that. With like something with a screen so I could just sit down and like hang out. Or I might make a section of my smoking area, I'm not sure. And then um, my personal area where I would put my office and stuff would be different. So, for my personal area, I'd probably completely strip the, uh, I'd probably make some custom cabinets that would be able to fit the area where the current seats are in, like, the middle of the train, which I would also have, like, a flat countertop there for, like, like, paint pictures, other stuff, like, cool things I find, whatnot, do something like that, and then, um, that's what I would do for, like, my area of this, uh, wait, shit, uh, Wait a minute here. Ugh. Double use screws for the front. So then, so there's one, two. There's four of these screws. Oh, that's what that is. Oh. Probably should have told me that instruction manual. Or that, I don't know. This instruction manual is honestly not as good as I would have hoped. It sucks. It's horrible. Because it told me to use the wrong screws for this for the, for the arms, and I'm like, what? I'm, I'm like two screws loose. Or two screws too little, or something like that. Where is the thing? So wait a minute, we have, how many, how many R screws do we have even? We have one, two, um, three, four, five, six. Well, if they, do, well, if they, think, if they include two extras, why didn't, they, why didn't they include the extra R screws with the R container? So stupid. Like, there is no, there is no purpose or reason to, to just add in to have eight screws but have two as quote unquote extras. Like that just it makes no sense. Like if you're gonna have an extra screw, include an extra screw. If you have two extra screws that make the eight that you put in there, then just put them with the rest. It's that simple. Just put them with the rest. It's not that hard. Eh, I'm not the one who designed this, so it's not my fault. Alright, but yeah, then um But yeah, um, I would also, for the, for, I would set up, like, my bed, I'd probably make, like, a Murphy-style bed or something like that, or, like, I don't know what I'd do for the bedroom yet. I'd probably, like, put in, like, a cot or something like that. Remove the interior, put in a cot. Do something cool like that. And yeah, that's, that's probably what I'd do for that, at least. And then, uh, did I just put this on wrong? Don't fucking tell me I put this on wrong. I put this handle on wrong. Where's my... Here it is. Yeah, that's what I would do. But for the, um... But what I would do for the operator's cab is that I would still make the air compression system functional. And I'd, like... I'd, no, I wouldn't... No, I would... I'm going to talk about the electrical wiring system that I do for my tiny house 1200 car thing. I would, um... 
I would rewire it so that I could I could put in a brand new panel that would be able to open up individual doors instead of like because right now in in those series cars there are two knobs that you press down and turn to open up the doors and then um but when you do that it opens all of them and when you're coupled with another car the electrical system like uh, is connected to the coupling and so um and so basically the signal is carried through the whole way and I don't really want that I want like individual um coupling I want to be able to to uh, like operate like single doors on either side with no problem whatsoever. Or be able to even access them fucking remotely. Just like from my phone being able to open one of the doors in my room. That'd be awesome. But yeah, that's what I would do for that. I'd completely strip out the electrical wiring system. I would keep the original board for like the um for like the door chimes and stuff, because like every twelve hundred car, like I, I even figured out it's down to the coupling level. The coupling level, like, like, number, let's just take an example here. Number 12, 1234 could have a completely different door chime from that of 1235. And, well, some of you might say, oh, well, those were manufactured at the, exams, at the exact same time. Well, it doesn't actually quite work that way. I mean, even though, I mean, it was still the 80s and stuff wasn't perfect, but... Sure, like you might say, oh, they were they were produced in the, exa in, the, in the exact same month or this, the exact same day or something. Well, we're talking about train car manufacturing here. We're not talking about mass market automotive production here where they have those things literally going like constantly. They're constantly pushing out cars. With train cars, it's a bit different. They only get to maybe one or two, like um, maybe like three or four actual trains a month because of how much it takes because you can't just create a simple assembly line with a that you can with a car because um well the body of the train has to be has to be like has to be shaped out of this uh, let's just take the 1400s for example the body has to be shaped out of the stainless steel then the body has to have like um has to have all like the other shit required for it and whatnot where to put the last screw I have seven, I need eight. Where's the eighth? These are two. Where'd that fucking eighth screw go? Hmm. Ah, oh, that's where it went. could take about a year or two years depending on how big it will be but yeah if we're talking about like um if we're talking about just the the like the size of the 1200s which are like 65 feet long and nine feet wide that would take i think what it took for the first 1400 to be produced in china i found some like insider article a long time ago at like crc or something or like some report or something like that that the cars that that one prototype car that was brought over to the u.s in 2017 that took maybe about two years to, to like design and produce, but the manufacturing process took like two months or something, because of like they had to they have to basically wire everything manually, like seriously they have to actually wire everything manually inside those things, which I don't know how it's how it's like with the automotive industry, but I don't think it works like that, or I don't know. Um, I'll attach the seat and lumbar pillow shit later. Um, place a seat on the gas lift so I'll do that after I put on my footrest things um, but yeah it's just it's totally different with um with like a train car as, as like the 1200s you know so yeah that's what I plan to do for a tiny house but I'm also thinking I might buy another pair that might I might keep original just for like it's just because fucking why not? I don't know. Depending on how cheap or if I if I can get them for free, I'm definitely getting two. I'm definitely getting a four car train. And I might try to or something, but you know what? actually, I might try to buy a six car set train. And they you no, know, I'll buy eight cars in total and then convert one of them into a tiny house. And the second, I would I would tell the MBTA, this one this is a personal train from me, and can you keep it running on the line? 
keep it up, keep it maintain, keep it maintained, keep it running on weekends only with not too many people in it, and we will be happy. And I'll mark that as a as a historical train. I will make it, I will renovate it to make it look like like it was brand new from 1980. Like I'd put the original 1980s map in there. I'd keep the original like I'd keep the roll signs like the way they are. I'd keep the paint and everything. Like I'd do so much if I if I could like just say to the MBTA, hey, yo. Can you just keep one more 1200 on the line? Like, these things are iconic. Like, come on. You can't just, like, you can't just be like that. Just be like, oh, we'll get, we'll get rid of our most popular train cars that literally make the headings of news lines almost every day. Like, you, you know how I, like, when I, when I looked back, um, I like some orange line stuff, like with the track fire and everything that happened in, like, 2013, I searched, um, I searched how popular MBTA Orange Line was searched on Google around that time period, or, or at least like Orange Line car fleet, how much it was Google searched during that time. And since that incident came out, it was a lot, it was a lot higher than, than um, usual. And well, it's because like they're they're at fucking everywhere. You are big brain. Yes, I am big brain, Sepia kid. Pretty cool, right? But yeah, it's just like um. So yeah, plus they've been around since the fucking eighties, which is like centuries ago. Or decades ago, because decade is ten. Century is a thousand or a hundred, I don't I don't remember. I think it's only a hundred. But whatever it is, it's something. Alright, we're almost done here. And then when we are done, I'm gonna switch to I'm gonna switch to something and we're gonna try gaming in this a little bit, because Honestly, why not? I've only been live for for an hour and 22 minutes. So far, I'd probably say that this has taken almost about an hour to uh, set up. And this is me going at my at, at like a relaxed pace. If I wanted to get this done sooner, I could. But I, I didn't want to because I want to I want to save for the moment and talk to you guys and tell you about my tiny house and all that cool shit, right? Oh boy. Does it just like flip under like that or something? Okay. Um, please give me more instructions, instruction manual. Oh, that's pretty cool. So just like the the fucking footrest just flips out when you pull it up. It's pretty it's pretty rad. Ah whoa! Almost lost it. Hmm? Rubber ring. Hmm. You don't like for the uh I think that might be the f for the footrest in case it comes out or something like that. Uh, okay, so like some way that you put this in? Because the uh, sizes are different. This is the front of my face. This sticker says front. We'll just put this right here. Alright. Alright, how's it like, uh, you can definitely tell this is different, so. I'll try, um, I'll try flipping this one around and seeing what happens. Is this one the small hole in the front? Or that's the small hole in the back, so... I think we'll just keep it that way, and then we'll flip this one around. But, yeah. So... But, yeah, I, I emailed the MBTA asking them if they could get me into contact with, um... with the head of, um, repair and maintenance at Wellington Facility, which is where the orange line is maintained and stuff. And, well, I want to be able to get a Zoom call with him soon, so I can discuss about him about how the 1200 works for my in-depth technical breakdown of the cars 
as well as just like cars from that decade since well I think the Pullman standard um, 15 and 1600s used the same exact traction motor design from that of the 1200s or I think the 1200s used a modified design of the traction motor and air compression system from that of the 15 and 16 and 1700s because well I mean when you look at the Pullman standards they have a similar but not quite the same uh, brake release sound to that of the 1200s but it's obviously a little bit different because of like I think time periods and design stuff changes, but I don't know. It's just something interesting. I don't know if I just like put this on like that, then I guess it just stops it from coming out. Okay, then it worked for me. Uh, do not need this extra screw anywhere, so just put this stuff over here, and then we just, we just push it down on the thing. Okay. Okay, let's see here. All right. Actually, yeah, let's just put this on its side, or the back at least. That'd make it easy for me to get it in. See, I might flip this one upside down again. I'm gonna flip it upside down just so I can really. Ah. should be it, I think. Now, just like that. Ah. Okay, just gonna go to, uh, just gonna, gonna go to the intermission screen real quick so, while I reset up everything here.
Shit, forgot I was on. I forgot I was on mute. Whoopsies. Uh, right. I need to fix this. That's too dark. That's fine. Let's just turn down the aperture. That that's fine. I guess that works. Put the aperture all the way low, and we'll just put this back at zero. That's exposure. What's up, everybody? I'm back. I'm here with the gaming chair. How's it going? This this thing feels this thing feels nice. Like it actually feels fucking nice. I like it. Ah, I feel so. I feel so. I feel so good in this chair. It's awesome. Like. I know I just got this and everything, but it's like I really can't describe how it makes me feel. It makes me feel like I'm a like I'm a fucking pro YouTuber, you know? I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I mean? Oh, come on now, autofocus on my face, stupid fucking camera. Alright, fine then. What what is it you want? I will put it on 125 just for just for fucking just for fuck's sake, alright? Focus, you monkey brain. All right, man, all right, manual, manual exposure. Auto exposure, I guess. I don't really care. I don't know why, but my 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 face just does not seem in focus. Just go to man. All right, manual focus. Okay, now my face is in focus, and I got that depth of field in the back. Even better. All right, so what's up, everybody? We're here. We have made it. Uh, yeah, I'm still not quite finished with this yet. I still need to take a look at the lumbar support and the actual headrest. Wait, what? What in the? What? Wait, what? Does this thing have like a. Is this thing powered or something? What the fuck? This thing has a. This thing has a fucking dongle to it. I don't know what this. What? That doesn't. That didn't say anything when I bought it, would it? In here. So it's like a cord in here too, because then. Um, that'll be pretty. That'll be interesting if I. There's like a fucking USB hub on here. There's like a. No, that's just the. That doesn't look right. <laughs> the black, the stuffing on the inside is just that. That's like ew. That's that's gross. I don't like that. Ew. Um. Yeah, but anyway, we got this here. We can just put like this, I guess. That's how it goes. Ah. Just like that. Just something like that. That's uh, it's cozy, I guess. But oh, what what would what would this what would this USB port what would this be? I don't know what this is. What is this? Does this like have like a vibrator inside it for like? fucking massage, because if I got a fucking massage chair, then I'll be like, what? Alright, uh, where's that fucking instruction? Alright. Okay. Place the seat on the gas lift. Okay. Alright then, but that doesn't explain, that doesn't explain what the fuck this is. It doesn't say what the fuck it is. That's weird. Alright. Mm-hmm. Okay, but what does this thing do? To adjust the tilt, the tilt tension before assembling the footrest, take the rubber rings off from the metal poles and then put the metal poles into the holes. And last, put the rubber things on there. Okay. Um, 
I guess it just says nothing about this uh, about this USB thing here. I just I don't know. Whatever. Uh, you know what we're gonna try doing? We're gonna try plugging it in. Let's see what what the hell it is. Does it look like? It's a fucking motor. It's a fucking motor. Holy shit. I got a fucking massage chair. What the fuck? <laughs> My god. I didn't know that I'd get a fucking motor in this bitch. Holy shit. That's awesome. Oh my god, that's that's actually amazing. <laughs> this thing has a fucking motor inside of it. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm not gonna need it though because I'm uh I'm cruising just like I am. Although I would have liked so like maybe a headphone jack port or like another something. I don't know. Yeah, this is this is good. I like this. This is cozy. Plus I can just lean back. And then Oh, it comes up slowly. That's even cooler. And for like real, for real kicking back, I can just like, booyah, baby! Got me a footrest. Ha ha! Oh hell yeah, it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sitting out in the common room with this thing now. Holy shit! Yeah, this thing is cool. Plus it feels like I'm plus it feels like I'm like operating a fucking normal car chair with it like this. Yeah, I like it like that, where I can lean back a bit. Plus it feels like it just it feels like it hugs you. It feels like it hugs you really hard, you know what I mean? Let's do some uh what do I got here for games? Cause uh what what would be a live what would what would be a live stream without a That's some sort of playing of a game, you know what I mean? I got Dolphin for Wii games. I got T-Mod Loader, Golf with Your Friends, Gary's Mod. Obviously, I could do Minecraft, but I mean, I don't really feel like doing Minecraft since that's what I've been doing for the last like, fucking four weeks. But I also do have some stuff on Windows, like GTA and a few other things, so... Or I could just hop off the stream and play with the boys, because, uh, why not? Um... <laughs> I'm glad that my gaming chair is superior to that of yours. But yeah, um, this is it. It's complete. It's, uh, I like it. I would definitely say just first impressions as of right now. Ten out of, wait, I know. I know what game I, I should play. Since this looks like a car, pl since this looks like a car chair, then, um, I do. Ah, oh, shit. I have Asphalt 8 on here, so perhaps I could start a I could start um a gameplay of that because uh because why not? All right, I'm gonna turn back on the noise suppression right now. Filters two. All right, noise suppression is on. Okay, okay, now it's on. All right, okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna play some Asphalt 8 simply because well. It this feels like this feels like a fucking car chair. Like I feel like I could, I could be driving a fucking Mustang right now. This is this is awesome, and uh, yeah. So let's get started. So oh, I didn't. Oh fuck, I didn't. Oh, I didn't keep it download on this machine. This is my daily. Shit. Guess I deleted it. Eh. Thank God for the app store. I'm just doing something simple tonight, because, uh, well, I mean, I might be having some plans with someone else, I don't know yet, but, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's downloading, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna... God, I have, like... Wait, what the fuck? Who put me in here? Oh, oops. I, I guess that makes sense. Well, I guess I'll leave the group then. Uh, right. Um, app is almost done. 
to 3 gigs at 3.06. So yeah, it's just installing now. Wow, that was fast. Even when I'm streaming, that was fast. Just I'm not gonna not gonna lie, that was that was pretty fast. Oh, I, we got we got this we gotta let this mood set in right now. We gotta go with um Wow, the color capture on this is so much better than that shitty fucking webcam. God, why did I spend like 25 bucks on this shit webcam when I could have been using this? My god, it's just infinitely better. Um, right. Uh, um, almost, almost done with downloading Asphalt 8, so don't worry about that. Well, plus, it's like I can even see my own self in... Um, in uh what's it called the uh i have the view i have the viewfinder on the actual camera to, to reference off of now instead of uh instead of having to go to uh instead of having to go to uh, the uh so i'm going to go into streamlabs every time you know what i mean okay finally it downloads so we're going to be able to get started real soon yeah, people that's a, that's cool I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna see what some of the let's see what some of the guys are up to right now. Alright, uh Where's my friend Zachary? People just walking outside be like, yo, what's good? Don't mind them. Okay, I just uh, asked my friend about something. Oh yeah, gonna just um. No, that's brightness. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, that's it that's it right there uh-huh yeah we got the orange going yeah let's go with this yeah let's go with this now um oh wait can i oh wait oh shit was that was that what that is oh that that's so cool actually all right yeah Okay, so I have it on manual mode. That's cool. Alright, um, let's get started with, um... Let's get started with the game here. Um... Okay, uh, oink. Oh, right, I need to... Where are my headphones? I haven't played this game in... Oh, fine, yes. Why did you- oh, fuck, that was on stream too. Shit. Whatever. Got this wheel so much better than that shit chair I got that I was using before. Uh... Where in God's name did I put my goddamn, uh... Where in God's name did I put the goddamn headphones? Oh, whatever. We'll just- we'll go without sound this time. You know what? We'll do it to my- Fine, whatever, I don't care, screw you. Where's my... That's MacBook Pro speakers, we'll do multi-output device. What do I have? Drive guitar, 12 cars. Yeah, that's that account of mine. Okay, cool. Next, 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 next. But... Nice, alright, I don't care about notifications. Can y'all hear this right now? Because I cannot tell. Oh wow, that is really zoomed in, holy shit. I think it's option I use to do that. And then, um. Just, uh, just gonna, just gonna adjust some shit here, cause, uh. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I remember playing this game back in, like, 2013 when it first came out. It was, like, I thought it was, like, the best graphics that any iOS device could have at the time. I fucking loved it. But is it. It is and still it's it was and still is a rather decent game I would say. 
I'm just going to take a look here for a second. I'm just going to readjust the focus here. Um, just like that. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, I won't be able to see the chat on this. Well, actually, I will be able to because uh, I got the second display here. Okay. Yep, just like that. There we go. Yay. All right. Um, where the fuck? Where in the fuck did I put my headphones? And what is my buddy tight? What is my buddy telling me? Ah, fuck. Hold on. I'm just gonna send my some something to my friend. Yo, bro, got a new gaming chair. It's pretty sick. Check it out. It's fucking, it's fucking orange, my guy. It's pretty cool. All right. Now that my, my friend's busy, I need to find my earbuds. Wherever I fucking put them. If not, I'll use the beats for for a more, a more intense sound uh, experience. And that's why I put them in there. I'm gonna use the beats because I feel like it. All right. All right now. Here we go. I'm a, I'm a serious gamer now. Holy shit. All right. What's going on, everybody? Should I just like start a new stream and just be like, being like, yo, this is the stupid stream or something like that? I don't know. Still can't fucking tell if that's in focus or not. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna drag my light over because uh, I gotta be. Able... I have a I have some sort of light on me. Or I could just do. I could just do that. That's that's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that instead. Let's see what I'll do instead. What's this? Oh yeah, chat. This is pretty cool. But um, I got this railroad spike for um from a real train area. It was pretty cool, actually. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I plan to keep it in its rusted state because it's pretty fucking cool. But yeah. And later tonight, I gotta vacuum up my fucking floor so I don't, like, uh, just completely fucking remove the. So I don't just keep rolling over the same shit all the time. Okay. Right now we can actually start here. Okay. I still cannot hear anything. Okay, there it goes. Oh, wait, did that. Okay, you can hear that all. You can hear all that, right? Right. Oh yeah, I have to keep. I have to. I have to keep the music. I have to keep the music muted simply because, well, it is all copyright music, unfortunately. So, what's up, Trivian? What's going on? So, what I actually like to do is I like to play multiplayer in these games because um, I like to play blind multiplayer because it helps me get better at the main story. Plus, it gives me enough. It gives me a bunch of cash for um, for actually trying to. Wow, that is really loud in my ears. Um, plus, it gives you just it gives you a lot better experience if you're trying to go for the um, save fifty points. Why would I pay two hundred asphalt tokens for that garbage fucking money? Fifty points is like nothing. It's easy money right there. Also, my goddamn thing is not all the way. All the way there. Okay, that's fine. All right. Um, I'm actually thinking, uh, all right then, save five points, whatever, I don't care. Get your rewards now. All right, learn more, play, uh, right. Um, hundred more points for, for, for 10,000 credits. All right, play. And wait, what, what, does this say what class it was? 
I don't think it said what class it was. Let's just do multiplayer. Well, I guess whatever. Um, what's my fastest car anyway? I, I think it used to be so much cheaper when the game was older. Man, they really raised the prices on these things. Holy fuck. Uh, I got the Dodge, got that, that, that. I had like a Jaguar something. Wait, did they add a new car? That's new. Yeah, they added that. That's new. It's a nice looking Corvette though. Looks pretty nice in my opinion. Yeah, I like that. That's that's cool, but I thought I owned something else. Wait a minute, can I buy that? Oh no, that's, that's a thousand. That's a million of those. Jesus. Yeah, I knew I knew I had the I knew I had the Camaro, but um I had something better than that. I had the Nissan too. I want that Mustang, but I can't get that, so I thought I had like a Jaguar or something. What the fuck? Uh... Wait, that was that it? Oh, what the fuck happened to the Jaguar that I had? Ah, oh, whatever. It's fine. We'll use um. We'll use this thing and. Cause, uh, I remember I did pretty good with that. I did pretty good with this car, you know? Okay, uh, let's go for... Let's go for the River Fort. Let's go for that shit. No, King's Highway, actually. We'll do it for two laps. Oh, we're doing one lap? Jeez. That's not cool. I don't like one laps. Doesn't give you a fair chance at, um, being able to beat your, beat your enemies into the sheer ground. Uh, Transylvania. I don't think I, I don't think I've done this course before. Um, oh yeah, I forgot this was quiet. Holy shit! All right. Oh my god, I forgot how t intense this was. Holy shit! Most people don't understand how how this game works. You don't use all your turbo at once, you just fire it at the right time, and then you... Haha, knock down. Fuck yeah, baby. Let's go. Oh, I don't think there's a way to look back, is there? Oh shit, I don't know. Oh shit, I'm gonna get hit. Oh boy. Doing good so far. Oh baby. Oh no 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 Oh come on, that's so fucking Fuck this. God damn. Ah, son of a bitch, suck my cock Whoa. Okay, this time I actually need the perfect nitro because I need to catch up to this motherfucker right here. Oh, hell yeah, we're going through the curve, baby. Woo! Yeah, if, it turns out that if you keep on... If you just do, like, one individual thing of nitrous, it holds on for longer, and it gives you a more benefit over, in the long run rather than in the short, in the short term. Because, like, if you just use it all with a perfect nitro, then you just waste away a shit ton of fucking, um... A shit ton of fucking nitro when you could have been using that. Plus, this thing... This thing does flat spins like crazy. It's been a while since I've driven, so I'm a bit rusty. Especially with this particular game, since, well, it's, um... It's, uh, it's a lot more janky than other racing games I've played, like Forza Motorsport and stuff. Wait, I wonder if I could hook up my controller to this. That'd be interesting, but I'm not gonna try right now. Shit. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I gotta take the short... We gotta short on what we gotta take the short one on this one. 
That's another way that you could uh, save yourself is just by cutting off your knife just at the perfect time. Just like that. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. That, if I land on my side, it would have been gaining a with me. Holy fuck. Alright. Oh, sick drifts, baby! Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, shit. Sick drifts! Nah, crap. Okay, there's someone actually on my tail. I gotta fucking speed it up here. Flat spins for days. Woo! Although my favorite, my my favorite way to play this game is on this computer, but bopping like some really good music, and like um, just just playing, just play multiplayer like this. That's that's how I grinded for a while. Oh yes, that was a perfect time for that to happen. Yes, baby, come on. I can just about taste victory. Come on. Oh what? No, not this. Oh please, not like this. Oh, Jesus, no, not like this. There's someone right on my fucking tail. Gotta cut the corner loose close on this one. Ooh! Ooh, he knocked out at the last minute. Ah, get fucked. I made it. Woo! Sweet. Oh, I've leveled up. Sweet. That's cool. The game that game looks unfair. Well, it sucks. I don't care if I play it. Whatever. I don't care. Fuck you, miss out. I don't really care. Oh wait, I know. I know. I'm gonna. I might take this to Twitch. Actually, I might. I might do something here. Um. Uh. Yeah. I think I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end my stream right here. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all. That's all you got for me today. Um. I really hope you enjoyed this gaming setup and uh, this test run of the chair. It's awesome. I really do like it. And I will see you all in the next video. Because I'm not going to be going live again. Because I got some stuff I'm going to be working on. So, yeah. Glad you sticked around. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next live stream.